All right, guys, welcome to Man Cave Munchies. If you haven't figured out from my outfit today, we're gonna to do a little Asian cooking. Asian cuisine is really not all that difficult, provided that you have the right ingredients. Today, we're gonna to use a few things that you could pick up in any Oriental grocery store. The first thing we're gonna use are these, which are rice noodles. And actually, you'll see these close up in a little bit. Okay, I've already prepared some. We're gonna use, this is a little bit of, of rice Vinegar, you can also use white wine vinegar, or even white vinegar, if that's all you've got around the house, right? We have some fish sauce, have a little bit of soy sauce, and this happens to be Thai soy sauce, which is a little thicker than regular soy sauce and just a touch sweeter. And for the actual meal, we have some chopped chicken, which I've already cooked. You can do it cooked or uncooked, doesn't matter. I have some bean sprouts over here. We're gonna need some sugar. We're gonna need some olive oil to actually prepare the, the dish. We have some chopped green onions, and I'm talking about these things, guys, scallions. I have two chopped cloves of garlic. I have four eggs, which we are going to scramble. And I also have some ground peanuts, all right? And by ground, I don't mean chopped, I mean ground. And you can either do it by hand, or what I did was I cheated. Use my coffee grinder, a little, couple little pops with that, and you had some ground peanuts. You could also do it in your blender. It's just when you do it in the Mr. Coffee here, it's a lot less wastage. So anyway, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to prepare a classic dish called Pad Thai, which is a noodle dish. It's kind of like an Asian variation on one of my favorite Italian dishes. What is it, Adam? Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, which is pasta carbonara. 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 Right, because that also is a dish that relies on eggs and pasta. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take this shell over to the stove where I'll show you how to prepare this. But the reason that I set all this out here was one thing you have to understand, anytime you're going to do stir frying, you don't have time to be doing this. You want to have all your ingredients ready to go because as soon as you start frying, if you have to turn on and chop, you'll burn the crap out of everything. The beauty of stir fry is it's very quick and easy to prepare. So let's hit it. All right, guys, as you can see, I have everything arrayed around the stove so we can get down to doing some stir frying. So let's just close in on that bad boy over there. And what we'll do first, is we'll fire up Mr. Stove. And the one thing you always want to do is let your pan get good and hot and then add some oil, not the other way around. That'll only take maybe about 30, 40 seconds or so. Zoom in just a bit more. There we go. That ought to work. All right. So let's add a little bit of oil and what we'll do is we're going to start off with our garlic and our chicken but the first thing you do is you always want to let your garlic start to make nice with the oil you want to cook it you don't want to kill it and if you're going to use raw chicken, then obviously you'll start with the raw chicken first. But since I've already cooked this bad boy, so let me zoom in just a wee bit more. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to toss in the chicken. Like I said, I already pre-cooked this, so I don't have to let it cook too long. And onto that, I'm gonna add a little bit of our soy sauce. Again, if you don't have this kind, regular soy will work in a pinch. Although if you are gonna go out and get your sauces, you might as well get the real deal, right? There we go. Again, let that cook a little bit. You can already start smelling the nice oriental flavors in there. Let that cook for about, you know, 30 seconds a side. Using a wok, probably even less. You're gonna get them stuck, motivate them. <laughs> That's what the spatula is for.
This whole dish takes about five minutes to prepare from start to finish. All right, once we've gotten that warmed up, because again, we're going to be coming back to it shortly. We're just going to take it. We're at Bick and Bull. There you go. And we will come back to that in a few minutes. And you're going to add even more oil into the pan. Because the next thing we're going to do, we're going to scramble our eggs. You want to make these little bitty pieces of egg, so that's why I didn't add any water in as you traditionally would do if you were, you know, scrambling eggs for breakfast. But we want these to be kind of dry, not too fluffy, and you'll see why when we put it all together at the end. I'm going to turn this down just a touch. All right, keep cooking. Just a scooch more. There we go. Put it back in bold. Later on, we'll bring them all back together. But for now, it's just cook and release. It's kind of like fishing, right? Catch and release. All righty then. All right. Now for the moment. Now for the moment we've all waited for. We're going to start working on our sauce. And the sauce is pretty simple. You take your vinegar. I'm going to give it a couple of Three tablespoons of that. A couple tablespoons of my fish sauce here. Glug, 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 right? And then for the magic ingredient, sugar. About three tablespoons should do it. And then just mix that bad boy around. If it gets too dry, add a little more vinegar or a little more of the fish sauce, depending on which way you like it. And you'll notice one thing right away. It's actually cleaning the pan. Isn't that cool? Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to add back the chicken. Going to add back the eggs. Give that a couple of, couple of flips. Okay. And then for Mr. Noodles. You may need the assistance of another implement because now we're going to toss this around a little bit. Then we'll add our sprouts and we're almost there. Doesn't take much more than this. We're on final approach basically at this juncture. Try to keep the noodles in the pan. And again, this is basically for two or three people. If you're going to make a bigger batch, you're going to need a you know bigger pan or a wok. Okay. There we go. Again, I'm just trying to get, you'll notice the noodles are starting to get some of the sauce on them. And they're starting to get the uh, eggs mixed through it. All right, and then I get up to about this point. I'm going to add some sprouts because this is texture, right? You want to have some crunch. And again, less is more. And you can always add more. I usually toss them a little bit because you're not so much cooking the sprouts. It's just kind of warming them up a little bit. And yes, you will tend to toss sprouts all over the place because that's just the way they are. Don't worry about it. Neatness doesn't count. You can pick them up afterwards. Gonna throw a few more on here. All right. We are almost to the end result. And I'll show you what we're gonna do when we get to the end. Okay. Put these over there, and then last but not least, we take our green onions, we garnish, and we take our ground peanuts, we sprinkle them on top.
Then we plate. Come and get it, boys.